going snorkeling. <laughs> I do get quite nervous snorkeling, but that's fine. I'm gonna do it now. I just jump like that? Yes. No, I'm scared. <laughs> which is pretty cool welcome everybody welcome to a new travel video I am going to spend the next seven days here in Antigua which is a Caribbean island and it took us exactly eight and a half hours flight from London to get here Antigua looks like this and it has 365 beaches a beach for every day of the year doesn't mean that we are going to see all of them in this video but we're gonna have adventure we're gonna have chill out time there shall be rum there shall be Caribbean food and I am a little bit speechless with my room to start off with here's a little bit of a room tour and obviously the view which is crazy I'm gonna wake up to this for the next seven days so I hope that with this video I can bring Antigua closer to you guys for me it actually was a travel destination that I hadn't heard that much about just yet so I'm extra excited to come here and bring it closer to you and experience this lovely island with you together and I think I'm gonna just chill a little bit and then get changed for the pool party in our lovely resort which is called the veranda and I'm gonna put obviously all the links down below let's go I am ready for the pool party actually now that I started filming in this very second I could hear the drums so I think the pool party is starting the Sun is setting behind me right now it's so beautiful I'm gonna show you a really quick clip of what I'm seeing without music. I hope this will transport you as close to Antigua as possible and after that we shall go and eat and dance. Super fun. I. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> um, yeah, everybody's having fun, as you can see. <laughs> Good morning guys, we are almost ready for our morning workout by the beach because you know, <laughs> why not? 30 seconds, go! How did you find the um, fashion, uh, the fashion, the fitness? Fitness, it was great. I'm ready for a swim. <laughs> Taylor's ready for a swim. I am ready to explore the beach. So this is the beach that goes with the hotel. And yeah, let's, let's have a look around. I'm just walking to check out um, a new part of the hotel and look who I'm seeing. It's, it's real, I promise. It's not a statue. I'm gonna try and walk a little bit closer so you can see. Wow, so cool. So when I said we're checking out a new part of the hotel, I was completely wrong. Basically, we are checking out an entire new resort very close to where we're staying. It's called Hammock Cove. It's not quite ready yet, but it's super extra luxury. It's basically this type of hotel that you dream about. Like, literally. Have a look. Oh yeah, 
yes, be in, be in my vlog, hello. <laughs> so here we are again, the three of us. This is uh, Patrick from the German Backpacker and this is Taylor from Hi. Travel Colourfully. And we are at the Pineapple Resort, is what it's called, for dinner. And before that we've come to a place with loads of beautiful colourful houses. People are taking pictures here, as you can see. It's the most and amazing things ever. It's so lovely and obviously sunset is the beach. Yeah. and chop is a local dish <laughs> so it looks interesting basically this is a mixture of spinach aubergine and then we've got some fish here so let's try this Good morning, welcome to day two here in Antigua. Today I am going on a nature tour of the island. We've just arrived here by the sea and I think we're gonna kayak, we're gonna walk and hopefully we're also gonna snorkel. So that shall be interesting. Okay, everybody getting ready. Have a hold of any loose objects that you have with you your hats caps towels bags loved ones anything that you don't want to fly away on the way down please secure them it's going to be a windy boat ride. all right here we go all right guys here we are Taylor and I in our <laughs> little kayak. We've just, <laughs> we've just learned a lot about mangroves, which are these plants that you can see over there. Basically, they are actually protected. And an interesting fact is that 90% of them floats and only a little bit of the root is, I guess, you know, rooted uh, in the water. And now we're going to see if we can find some animals. I do get quite nervous snorkeling, but that's fine. I'm gonna do it now. I just jump like that? Yes. No, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> we have more rum punch. I mean, it tastes fantastic. Rum is my new favorite drink. Honestly, guys, I have to say I'm not a very good snorkeler. I was very, very nervous <laughs> underwater. I swallowed so much water. So there was quite wavy over there and like waves came into the snorkel and there I am struggling. <laughs> but I really, really loved it. By now, obviously, you would have seen the footage already I was chasing a blue fish and a yellow fish so we'll see if I got this for you and over there some some seagulls wishing that they had some of my rum punch
from the nature tour straight to the next sunset which will be over there in a second today we are at Shirley Heights which is one of the most famous places here in Antigua and it is the best spot on the island to see the sunset we're all here with our tripods I've like escaped the group right now so I can talk to you but hopefully the next shot will be an epic time-lapse of the sunset <laughs> just quarter to nine in the morning and I'm going to a beach here in the hotel to do another workout class with Jamie um, yeah I don't know if that's a good idea to work out by the beach when it's already 30 degrees but I will see you after and obviously I will show you some clips of what we get up to I just learned that we will in fact be doing exercise right here outside in the sun because who needs shade, right? <laughs> Let's grab some water and a towel, and then we're all ready, right? Yeah. So excited! So happy to be here. Hesitation, hesitation. Go! Thirty seconds. Go! <laughs> Workout on the beach was tough. I was sweating, I felt dizzy, but I do feel great. And you know what? It's very convenient that today is Seafood Friday. So we are going to a place called Nelson's Dockyard, which is by the English Harbour. Insert map here so I can show you. And we're gonna eat seafood. I am going to have a fish called Mahi Mahi. So I am excited. Let's go. We've driven about maybe 20 minutes to the English Harbour and we're now on a, let's call it mi miniature hike. Uh, it's not really a hike, everyone's in sandals basically. But we're trying to get to a viewpoint to see the English Harbour from the other side. So stay tuned. So up there is a little rope and all the way up there is where we're trying to go. Guys, look, <laughs> there's more goats there. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Whew. Okay, we took some pictures for Instagram, which we love, which you can see on my Instagram probably already when this video is up. We now have 20 minutes to go down, 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 and down for our seafood dinner, which I have promised you. So <laughs> I promise the next shot is gonna be fish. Mahi Mahi, mac and cheese double, because I asked for it, corn, salad, rice, carrots, broccoli. So it's the first time I'm actually eating Mahi Mahi in my life. So, wow. Okay, basically like tuna, but softer, not as chewy. So it's like a really lovely fish. 